Hold up. Hold up. Let me make sure this is a real net. Is it real? Okay. Deontay Johnson to the Panthers for cornerback Dante Jackson and a wow. and a pick swap. Okay, looks like I got a I got some work to do. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, uh, that, that, that that literally just can't let. I, I literally would just pull that up on Twitter. What are your yeah, thoughts been, on that? Yeah, I've been getting some text beeping in as we're talking here. Uh, Dante Jackson is a guy who was on their radar last year in free agency, signed with the Panthers instead. And uh, boy, now what? You you got to draft a receiver. Definitely first two days of the draft, right? You probably got to go out and get a fairly big name in free agency too. So, uh, yeah, that's quite the news uh, that uh, broke here during our conversation. Yeah. So uh, Diana Rossini, it looks like might be the first one. Is that the who reported it first, or Schefter? Okay. Well, Schefter. <laughs> Uh, Don, Deontay Jackson and uh, I'm sorry, Deontay Johnson for uh, who is it? Dante, Dante Jackson. Dante Jackson. Um, okay. So you say that you think Dante Jackson has some value? Uh, you know, he, he's not a guy that, um, you know, is going to be an all pro or even a pro bowler, but I think you know, he's a guy who could be a one to two year starter maybe for you until you get your long-term future, um, you know, corner opposite of Joey Porter jr. But uh, yeah, I think he's um, 27, 28 years old. Um, I think there was some interest on behalf of the Steelers when he was coming out in the draft. So uh, yeah, they, there you go. They don't have to spend the free agency, but uh, they, they did trade away an asset in Deontay Johnson to get him. <laughs> Are you surprised they traded on Deontay Johnson? Then I'll let you go. Cause I know now you got to go to work. Well, you know, uh, there have been some rumblings about him being unhappy. And I've said this before. They've never been afraid to trade receivers. If Antonio Brown could be traded, Deontay Johnson could be traded. So I, I guess in that sense, I am not surprised. But uh, obviously it creates a huge hole um, in their skill positions. Well, the actual trade now is out. It's Deontay Johnson and a seventh-round pick for Dante Jackson and a sixth-round pick. Do you like the trade? Uh, I want to wait to see what they get at receiver in free agency or the draft. Um, I'm kind of lukewarm on it now, just thinking about it off the top of my head. I, it, it's a weird thing because you're trading offense for defense, and to me, there's just there's no depth in that receivers room right now. So I'm just I'm wondering what they're going to do on offense to surround Russell Wilson with with some quality players. Yep. Uh, que uh, no question. Well, well Ray, I, I know you got to go to work now. I, I, I created some work for you, I think, uh, by telling yeah, you this. Uh, but um, anyway, um, the great stuff is always, and uh, hopefully, you know, uh, there's a couple more of these things. Not, you know, not for your sake, because I know you would, would rather not have to work the rest of the night. But hopefully, there's some more of these things because I got to get through three more hours of uh, radio. I was gonna say, call me tomorrow, and there'll probably be another signing when we're. When we're talking on the phone. All right, my man. Sounds good. Uh, as Ray Fittipaldo, the Post Gazette. And, uh, well, uh, that's the uh, draft. Uh, uh, that's the trade. So, Dante Jackson, is that uh, who they, they traded for, uh, Joel? Yep, looks like it. All right, Dante Jackson. And uh, let's see what we got from him here. Um, okay. He uh, played at LSU. How about that? Another LSU guy. He was the second-round pick. 303 com uh, career tackles. Um, let's see what we got here. 41 passes defensed in his career over five years, 14 interceptions. Okay, he seems like he might be a little bit of a playmaker. I'd say so. I don't know if he's like... You know, he's. I'd say he's somewhere between a pretty good starter and a depth piece. Yeah. If I had to take a guess, so reading reading about him here, I mean, it seems like, and and of course they're getting a sixth round pick over it. Um, the bottom line is, the Steelers better better be really good at picking receivers in this year's draft. There's a number of receivers in this draft. It's supposed to be a good draft for the receiver position. I get all that. 
But at the end of the day, I'll be honest with you, you better not miss. I mean, you got George Pickens and I guess Calvin Austin, and I know Miles Boykin is actually a, 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 a free agent. I mean, you better not miss if you're the Steelers. Honestly. You cannot. And maybe maybe this is what they do in the first round this year. Maybe I know there's the center position, defensive line. Maybe this creates so much more of an urgency for a wide receiver in their first round pick. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the biggest thing.